We're at the BC Bike Race, the home of the gnarly cross-country bike, the down country bike, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this bike's got the number one plate on the front. This is Jeff Kabushi's Yeti SB100. Jeff was a really successful cross-country World Cup racer, of course, and he's turned his hand to racing all sorts of things. He's been here before at the BC Bike Race and won it. He's recently been to Trans-Provence, and he's back again at the BC Bike Race, and it's great to check out his bike. It's definitely on the sort of more trail end of the cross-country bikes here. 100 mil travel on the back, 120 up front. This race in British Columbia is seven days of really amazing single track. Today was the Queen Stage, day five, uh, almost 60 kilometers of riding, 1,600 meters of elevation. Uh, but this was full of really gnarly single track as well, as have all the days been so far. So you need a lightweight bike that's also really capable of riding those trails fast. And that's why you see a lot of racers here running the 100 mil bikes, as it is, the SB100, but with a jacked up fork to 120 mil, but also shorter stems enormously on these bikes. So it's a 55 mil Shimano stem on this, 760 wide bars. It looks almost like a trail bike. It's funny the mix of components you see on the bikes here. It's almost like making a sort of everyday practical cross-country bike because they're still super lightweight. Of course, you've got the carbon frame. You've actually got the stands carbon rims. You've got a Fox 34 up front, so performance fork, obviously, 120 mil, uh, but still super lightweight. It's that step cast fork. And this is where you start to see the sort of crossover between a cross-country bike and a trail bike. Jeff's running the Shimano XTR brakes, but only on the two pots, so super lightweight. And the rotors, they're 160 mil. They do look kind of undersized for this style of bike. Um, also running super fast tires. This is the Maxxis Recon race. I can tell you today it has been pretty wet in the morning, pretty muddy, and I can imagine they were quite a handful on some of those trails. Up front, Jeff is running a Mars Guard. Uh, it's Oakley branded actually. Today has been very wet, uh, been really moist as well, so super humid, a bit wet as we're riding. So it's very difficult to run glasses. I don't know what Jeff ran today, but it's super important to have that front mud guard. Uh, look at that, I love the look of this. Titanium bottle cage and bolted on the side of that is a one-up pump with the tool in the top of there. You've got full Shimano XDR group set, so one by 12. What you will notice, look at the size of that chain ring. So this is actually a 36. I see a lot of riders here riding 28s, 30s, 36 is massive. Jeff's picked the 175 mil cranks, also running those M9 100, the cross country version of the pedals, so without the sort of cage on them, super lightweight. Uh, another one up components piece here, that's the chain device just at the top. XCR rear mech and that 1051 big cassette, but still 36 chaining up front. Pretty hard work, I'd say. A Shimano Protharsis bar and stem, so carbon bar, 55 mil stem. Also got that mount there for the stages head unit. So Jeff uh, rides with that on there, keep track of what he's doing. It's got the M9100 brakes as well, so the carbon blades on there and those lizard skin sort of foamy grips. I bet that's quite nice actually. Obviously spending a lot of time on the bike this week. Comfort is really important. Finished off with a Pro Turnix saddle. That is of course Shimano's components brand. Right, time to ask Jeff some questions about his bike. Jeff, you're riding an SB100. This looks like a, a trail bike more than a cross country bike. It's kind of a beefy bike, but you're running pretty low profile, fast tires. How were the tires today in the mud? Good, I mean, I grew up on kind of this area, so I'm really comfortable on the trails. So, I mean, I'm, I'm running, trying to run the fastest tires I can get away with, so. Definitely they're a little bit higher volume, two, three, five, so I can run them pretty low pressure. And then it's just, yeah, being really smooth and reading the trail and being a little bit careful on the slick stuff. And I, yeah, I, I think I read a, a bike check from one of the previous years. You're running pretty low pressures. What is it? Uh, today I was running around 20, 21 PSI. And you don't feel there's a risk with a puncture? No, I mean, not a ton of sharp rocks. I mean, today there's one or two sections, but uh, I don't know, I think I've maybe rimmed out once this race. I mean, it's not full attack on, on such a long stage race. So, I mean, we've had a lot of good dirt and kind of the wet conditions have kind of taken a bit of the speed off. We're not hitting sections quite as hard in the wet. And it looks to me, yeah, like I said, much more like a trail bike. You're running a, what's that, a 60 mil stem? Uh, 55 mil stem, yeah, and a 740 mil wide bar. So it's uh, much different to a, a cross country race bike. 
started working with Yeti a couple years ago and it's been really good timing. They launched this SB100 and it's kind of kind of XE-ish or down country or whatever you want to call it. Kind of perfect for a lot of the events like BCBR I'm doing and definitely noticed the difference of, you know, a little bit bigger, stiffer fork with the Stepgas 34. And I mean, yeah, the Yetis ride really well on the trail and it's definitely worth, you know, it's not a, a full World Cup uh, weight bike, but it's, you know, perfect for long, kind of technical single track races like this. And what bike would you ride at home normally, just for fun? Uh, depends on where I am. I mean, in Squamish, I'll often take out the 130. I just raced the 150 at Transfer Vaughan, so I was putting a lot of time on that, but uh, I spent a lot of time down in NorCal and find this bike super fun. I'll put on some two, three minions, and I mean, it's so nice to pedal around, but I can still do a lot of the jump trails and hard trails on it, and you can cover so much more ground, so. Kind of, it's um, lucky to have so many different bikes, but they're yeah, a lot of a lot of fun bikes to ride. And you, you've got the stages uh, computer up front. Are you you're riding with a heart rate monitor. Are you actually are you looking at that whilst you're riding at the BC bike race? Yeah, I mean, I've been racing for long so long. I kind of really know my body, but it's good just to have a, a little bit of extra data to confirm and kind of gauge the effort a little bit. So it's nice to have that along with the info up there with the GPS for sure. And you've got the the one up pump. Are you you're racing with the backpack on with a tube? Yeah, the longer days for sure. I mean, it's nice. Yeah, having the one up tool with the tool on there, so it takes a bit of weight off your back. And but yeah, today was almost three hours, so I'm taking the chase vest uh, from Camelback. I'll have a you know liter and a half in the back and a 750 mil bottle on the bike, and you know a few spares there for sure. Almost three hours. It was four hours a bit <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah, no, this is the longest. Hardest grinder day in the race for sure. Two more days to go. The bike's holding up to it well. Yeah, no, it's, everything's been pretty smooth. I had a bit of a sli uh, slide out on one of those wood bridges today. It was pretty, pretty sketchy out there, but everything's staying together. And yeah, really exciting race this year. A couple hard, more long days to go. So we'll see what happens. All right, thanks, Jeff. No problem. Cheers. So there's Jeff Kabush's Yeti SB100. Uh, we've just filmed this on day five of the BC Bike Race, two more days to go. This video will come out after the race finishes, so well done, Jeff, you won. Or, uh, sorry, Jeff, didn't quite win, because there's a very tight race minute. There's three seconds between him and Felix Burke, so it's going to be very close. Uh, cool looking bike, much cooler for having the number one plate on front. If you want to see the video of me riding one day at the BC Bike Race on Shimano XTR, click over there. Give us a thumbs up if you like the look at this bike. Hit that subscribe button.